What's up SEO word? It's your boy and today I'm going to show you something that's really hot right now in the SEO game. And that my friend is schema markup. Why you might ask? Well, that's because most local businesses schema sucks really bad because you're using plugins like rake math that just generates some garbage schema as I like to call it basic bitch schema. So after you watch this video, you will no longer have a basic bitch schema. Let's go. So in this video, as always, we're gonna show you how to increase your rankings using schema markup, why most businesses fail, and how to beat your competition. Show you an example of great looking schema. We're gonna show you how to write straight fire code. And to make this super easy, I put a template included. I got you, fam. And as always, there's no fluff here. A straight, actionable steps to produce results. Let's go. First thing we're gonna head over to Google and Google schema markup testing tool. And you got the structured data testing and the rich snippets. Now, normally we'd go to the rich snippets because they're going to close down the structured data, but for visual purposes, we're going to the structured data testing tool. And for those that don't know what this is, you can literally enter a URL of a competitor, your website, and it'll pull up the schema markup. Or what I like to do here is go to code snippet and you can just copy and paste your own schema if you've written it. And it'll tell you if there's any codes, if you're missing a comma or a quote, which you might be if you if you're writing it by hand it's a great tool okay so what i did here real quick is i just googled miami plumber anybody here ranking on the page one was definitely paying for some seo services or doing some serious work let's check their schema all right scroll down organics he's number one let's drop in his url and run the test all right, so you can see they detected web page and the local business schema. And you got a couple warnings there, Hernandez Plumbing. Right, let's take over here at the local business. He's got two local business schemas. Um, he's got his image, aggregate rating here, and the same thing. And as you can see, uh, a lot of this was generated by Yoast. All right, now let's go take a look at our number two, Yelp and Falcon Plumbing. All right, here's our number two. You got an entries, basic. Web page, um, very standard. It's got his images, uh, same as schema here with the social media profiles, um, some more images, breadcrumb list, very basic reviews. They've got errors here. Um, that one didn't squeak by there, gentlemen. And here's this plumber schema. Uh, he's got his price range, his map, address, and his image URLs. You get the picture. All right, hope you guys can see how much information you can pack into this schema. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm gonna show you some hacks and how to write better schema to make this look like garbage. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, so I put this inside of a Google Doc just because I thought it was gonna be the easiest way to share it is just drop a link and you guys can copy and paste. So I'm gonna walk you through it real quick and how to fill it out and all you have to do is input your information. And this is an example with a roofing company, but this will work for anything, especially if you're a service-based local business. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna to need to get our machine IDs for our topics, our keywords, and our locations. And I'm gonna show you a couple places to go right now. All right, first place is gonna be Wikidata. So if we come over here to Wikidata, and let's just say we search up root, and this is what you're looking for right here, this free base ID slash M slash 6 H Y D. Show you another place to get them. Google Trends. Yes, that's right. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. All right, so we searched up roof. All right, and to get the machine ID, all we have to do is come up to the URL, and you see it's right here. You need to erase the percent two F and put a slash, and erase the percent two F, put a slash. There's your machine ID. I've had a lot of people ask me uh, what's the difference between machine IDs that start with an M and some that start with a G. And it's, they're really the same thing. It just d depends on who initially issued that machine code uh, for that keyword or city or whatever, that entity, right? So if, it, if Google issued that, it'll start with a G. It's that simple. So now I'm going to show you the third place, which is an absolute bombshell if you want to some for writing schema um, and generating these topics. So here we go. And the last here is topical relevancy. Okay, all I did was Google topical relevancy, but it's topicalrelevance.com. It's right here. You, all you literally have to do is put in um, your niche, your main keyword, and it'll go and it'll find an absolute ton of keywords for you. Here you go. It's this simple. All you got to do is type in your niche or your relevance. And we're going to just try 
roofing contractor to see and you get the data and it's thinking and we've time warped into the future and this is what we got all right it gave us single keywords it gave us phrases it gave us uh entities frequencies uh relevance and then your schema that you can copy and paste this is really awesome and i'm also going to show you third here if you notice inside of these wikipedia urls right there's also the google search urls with the machine codes in them this is why this is so powerful all right we're going to copy and paste this inside of our schema and i'm going to show you how to do this this is an absolute amazing amazing tool um it is it, it's absolutely awesome all right guys i made this so easy that a third grader can do it all you have to do is just copy and paste or plug in your information super super easy i've highlighted the majority of this for you you guys are going to have no trouble whatsoever all right so this is our local business schema at type local business hence local business schema all right you're going to want to put your address in your city your state zip code and country all right next is going to be an ad id and then we're going to put in a google search url with our company name and our machine id if you don't know how to get the machine id for your company it's in the google my business hacks the original video um, i'll try to drop a card in here somewhere um, if not just go check it out and last time i got a lot of questions of like what this means so here i'm going to i'm going to talk computer code it is a google search query and what it is is google.com obviously search query equals and then you're going to put your uh, brand name or your main keywords with your company mach uh, machine id all right next we come down to identifier all right we're going to do another google search query okay except this time we're going to add in our knowledge panel and knowledge graph okay so all it is is google.com query equals roofing company dallas or put in your main keyword plus whatever city that you're targeting okay knowledge panel and knowledge graph and then equals put in the city code all right this is building relevancy geographically as well as for those keywords now if you want to add search queries or take uh search queries away that's totally fine too um so what you want to do is you can come over here to say you want to add one so i'll just see where the uh comma is all right hit a space open bracket put in your domain or whatever you want close bracket comma all right that's it so where it says domain you would put in another search query all right open bracket put whatever you want close bracket comma open bracket close bracket comma okay so what you're basically doing is you're hitting like the space bar and separating your uh, queries in machine code all right, so I'm going to erase that and move it along. All right, next would be alternate name. This is really, really powerful. So instead of um, adding your business name, you would put in like your main keywords. Okay, you're telling Google, hey, this main keyword is the same as my business name. It builds relevancy, kind of tricks Google a little bit, right? Next is the descriptions. You can add another description in here, your telephone. Um, your main URL to your main site, your logo. So this would be your actual logo URL. So all you can do is go over to your website, uh, right click, and it, you can copy the URL address. Hazmat would be your Google Maps CID link. Um, super easy to get. All right, next is going to be payment accepted. I just kind of left this blank because I figured this would be the majority of you guys would accept these things. I did put gold in here to be funny. Um, you can take it out if you want. Additional property. Uh, I put a Google site in here because I figured the majority of you guys are probably utilizing Google sites one way or another, but you can put any type of your Web 2.0 properties. Big hint here, guys. Um, it will connect all of your uh, online uh, properties together. Uh, next would be like your opening hours. I just did uh, 100 hours to 1130. You can obviously change those. Your disambiguing description. It's another place to add a, even another uh, description and add keywords in there. Uh, main entity of page. I put a Wikipedia page here instead of um, the actual uh, main domain page. You can change that out if you want. Uh, founding date. All right, next are going to be your geo coordinates. You can actually go into Google Maps and uh, search your business inside of Google Maps. Uh, right click and it'll give you the geo coordinates. Really, really easy to do. Uh, next, we're going to go to name would be your brand, obviously. Actionable feedback policy. Just I just put in your privacy policy if you are a local business. Um, you can also put in like a testimonial, leave a testimonial page if you have that. Uh, area served, okay? This is really important. We have USA, Texas, and then we have our DPpedia pages. Um, you don't have to have these. 
But I highly suggest that you do uh, link out to the DPpedia page if you are serving locations that have uh, these pages. It's just going to build even more relevancy. Um, you don't have to do that. Um, as you can see, I just put in regular cities like Grand Baron, De Cornicova, uh, Pecan Plantation, Fort Worth, right? And I, put, I even made an example here. So if you wanted to add cities or take it away, open bracket, city, close bracket, comma. Open bracket, city, close bracket, comma. All right, I can make a rap song out of that. All right, and finally, we're going to come down here to the has offer. This is going to be your offer catalog for your product or your service. All right, very, very important. So you're telling Google, hey, these are the actual services we provide. All right, and what we do, obviously, name would be your brand. Ad ID would be the homepage to the website. Additional type, I put a productology uh, URL here, and I would highly suggest that you do the same. All right. If you guys don't know what that is, then drop in the comments. If you got any questions, I can go over through that uh, with you. All right, next would be um, ad type, service, name, and this would be where you would plug your service. We have roof repair because we're doing a roofing example. But if you are a plumber, you could do plumbing services, plumbing repair, um, whatever your service is, you would put that in there. And then your ad ID and your URL would be the URL to that actual service page. All right. And then you have a description. So you can actually put a description of that service inside of here. Really, really awesome. All right. And you see, as you can see, we go down. He's got a roof replacement service here. We have TPO roofing. And you can add as many services as you want. All right. So if you want to add a service, all you guys have to do, super easy, is get this little squiggly bracket. Come down here. Copy, and copy that. And then enter. Paste it. Plug your stuff in. Really, really easy to do. All right, guys, so we're going to move along here. I think you're getting the gif of it. Um, next would be, or you can put a Google, Google Maps URL here for the publisher if you want. You don't have to. You can use your website. Uh, next would be this award schema. Um, i got to give credit where credit's due. I actually saw Clint Butler uh, utilize award schema. So if you guys want to go even further down the rabbit hole, go check out Digital Ear. He does like a two-hour long where he writes schema like from straight scratch. Um, really, really cool. Definitely one of the best kept secrets uh, in SEO. Uh, really enjoy watching his weekly uh, SEO news. All right, guys, and we're almost done. Name, you can put in your company name, your brand, and then I like to drop in a bunch of keywords in afterwards. All right, once again, your ad ID, website, URL, website. Okay, now this is keyword schema. Uh, definitely make sure you, you, you add this in. This is really, really powerful, guys and gals, okay? We have seen a boost in rankings. We've seen rankings uh, show up from adding this keyword schema in only. So make sure you add this in. Super easy. You don't need to put brackets in between each keyword. Just make sure you separate them with a comma. Once again, you can erase or add as much as you want. And this is the final and last part of this Picasso schema thing. Is All we have to do is come over here to topical relevance. All right, this part can kind of give you a little hiccup and you'll have an extra bracket or you won't have enough brackets or whatever and it'll give you an error code. So follow what exactly what I'm doing. All right, when you copy and paste this. Come over here. Don't copy the brackets. Just get the parentheses. Okay, leave them be. And you're going to come down and just keep coming down. Okay, until this parentheses. All right, so from parentheses to parentheses. All right, is that's what you're going to copy. Nothing else. Okay, you're going to control C if you are on PC, you're going to come over to your template. All right, and then you're, you're going to highlight just the parentheses, not the brackets. Okay, all the way down to the parentheses, not the brackets. All right, and then you're going to copy and paste that in. Okay, trust me. If not, you're going to have to play around and make sure you have enough of the large brackets and the weird brackets and all that. You don't want to do that. Just copy and paste within the, within the parentheses. You'll be fine. All right, guys, this is the last thing we're going to do is we've got your ad type thing. Um, make sure uh, you're swapping that out. Let me make sure I highlight it for you. you put in your name. You've got a Wikipedia for a roof shingle. Um, obviously, you're going to want to make that uh, relevant to your business. All right. You've got another sort search query for uh, roofing shingles with the machine ID for, I believe, shingles. I don't remember. And then you have your contact about in our blog. Okay. So all you gotta do is come over here, add your contact page, okay, and then leave that, leave the hashtag contact. Same thing about us. Uh, leave the hashtag about and then blog. Copy and paste. Put your blog in there. 
and you're good to go. All right. Now I'm going to show you guys that this is working. We're going to copy and paste this entire script. And we are going, I don't know why, maybe the, why this is going so slow. We're going to copy and paste and drop it into the Google structured data tag. Got an error because the image, but let's see. Boom, there we go. Our local image schema has been registered. We have an error, I'm assuming. Yes, we know. Google, you're setting it down. Logo. So once you have your logo in there, you're good to go. All right, but check out all this crazy stuff we got, all right? All right. So I'm going to show you guys kind of what this means here. We have a local business ad type, local business schema. Our ad ID is literally a search query with our machine ID. Our name, we have our brand plus keyword. Identifiers, this is our uh, location and keyword search queries with the machine IDs, building, building relevancy, all right? Alternate names, this is awesome. We're literally telling Google that our business name is the same as the keywords we're trying to rank for. All right, now we got uh, descriptions, telephones, URLs, obviously your logo, hazmat, super, super important. Uh, definitely helps out for your Google My Business listing, currencies accepted, hours of operation, uh, disambiguing descriptions, uh, main entity, uh, founding date, actual feedback, areas served. We're telling Google, hey, we serve all these areas. Uh, we're linking out to a DB page when possible. Uh, definitely building relevancy there. Um, we've got our address again, count, uh, county, additional properties. This is really, really awesome for 2.0s, guys. Big tip there. If you're having troubles, especially if you're getting like 2.0s indexed or anything like that, shoot them out here. Um, I've also seen people link out uh, their silos with their schema. That'd be a different video. Um, we've got our latitude and longitude points, um, our image schema. You should definitely have your own image in there. Um, URL, uh, creator, thing, name, brand, roofing, author, your boy. Make sure you're changing that, obviously. I don't think we put that in the video. Content location, place, uh, city, and state. Uh, our offer catalog, okay which is items offered is our services here's our services so item offered service item offered service right all right next is um items offered website we have our ad id which is our main page hashtag website um our award schema really really powerful here guys we're literally telling google that we got the most bestest roofing contractor award last year or whenever we got the fastest roofing company award um, I guarantee you 1,010% your competitors are not using this stuff. And I promise you, when you put your schema on here, you definitely will see a rankings boost. All right. We have our keyword schema. So we're literally stuffing our keywords in here. Um, super, super powerful. We've got our publisher. We've thrown in another maps URL. Um, and then here's our mention things and mentions that we got from our topical relevancy. All right. Guys, this is huge. This builds relevancy. And the most beautiful part about it is that the user does not see this. This is all Google. And you're allowing Google to connect the dots, understand your business more, and become more relevant to the search queries and outrank your competitors. We're going down. We're going for it in 2021. It's your boy. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, my email's in there. If you want me to write your schema for you or your website or your client's website, shoot me an email. Guys, I wish you the best of luck. Peace.